Hello and welcome along and welcome back to Six Ashes. It is day three of the survival experiment and we're going to head around the back because of course we still don't have enough money. We're just shy of £8,000. Um, we don't have enough money to buy land. The bit of land we are currently targeting uh, to get us started is over here. It's field 17. Um, and that is because if we can get this, we can get the horse stables, Charlotte's livery stables and stud here. Um, and we've got a big grass field and that will be perfect for us to rent that. Just, just renting that in the first place. Field 17, that is going to cost us 16,000. Uh, 311 so we're we're a way off this yet um so uh we want to grab a contract today that will move us forward and we've got this one we've got field 67 so the great thing about this we've, we've updated to the uh the actual release of the map um and uh yeah, and so we've lost those potato contracts that were kicking about. But my calculations were basically that we couldn't do those. They would, they would, uh, we didn't have enough money to run that. So we have 10,300. We'll lose 1,300 here, but uh, we should be able to do this otherwise. So we're going to borrow the items for that contract there. Uh, no, I want to go back. And there we go. So we've got the uh, Lemkin Solitaire 12. This must be a pretty big field for this cedar. Because this is a 9 meter cedar. Uh, and we're back with the Steyr 6217 Terrace CVT. Um, now the other thing we need. We just need to hook up this. And once we've done that. We can see how much seed this takes. I'm going to fill this with seed. We may not end up using all of it. Uh, but we may end up using a fair whack. So uh, uh, that will be fine. And, uh, and what we can do, 5,800 litres. Wow, this is quite a bit of seed. If we use up whatever seed we use up, uh, whatever seed we don't use, sorry, uh, what we'll be able to do is uh, we, uh, when we return this, we'll get the money back for whatever seed we leave in it. Just one small thing. What field are we doing 67 with oats? Now, oats is quite good if we're doing the horses because we should with any luck eventually get a contract to harvest this field and then we will get the oats off it so that is good yeah we don't want these oats here uh, but we're using the realistic seed mod and that gives us oat seeds here so let's uh this gives us 2100 so we're gonna need three pallets of these actually i think we're gonna we're gonna start with just two it won't fill up our cedar completely but it means that we're not uh, immediately getting rid of all our money we've just got just under four thousand left so it's taken nearly half our money to get this let's open this up and refill it there we go and that's the first pallet in we'll reposition ourselves and load up the second pallet now let's back it up here ourselves there we fill that one too and with both pallets filled that gives us 72 percent full so we might end up what so uh, 5,000 yeah it would be almost another full pallet but i'm not going to do that moment. we'll come back if we have to now it's field 69 which is at the back of here looking at this we want to make a no not quite we want to head up not here, but head up the side of field 68. Interesting, there's a roadway marked on field 68. It doesn't exist on the map. So I'm not exactly sure how to get into that field there. I can see the roadway up there. But it comes down to it rather than up to it. So... I'm going to go and have a look up on uh, field 70. I think field 70 is going to be our entrance to, to field 69. So let's head up there and, uh, and see if that really is. Coming up to the corner of field 70 here. And we do have a gate and there is no hedge between the two fields. So yeah, this is how we get up to here up on here and 
into here. I do like how windy and uh, and really, really quite uh, different this uh, this map is. Lots of it, it does remind me an awful lot of one of Lance Boys maps. It really does. There is there are so many little side roads and extra roads and, and ways to get to various places and things like that. Uh, it's just absolutely brilliant. Right there and down. Have I got the wrong field? 67. It's the next field over. Ah. Oh. Well, could have been worse. We could have done a lot of seeding and then had a problem. No, nope, it is. Thankfully, it's not too far away. I was. Why did Why did Seal Field 69 come into my head for, for this? I have no idea. Thankfully, Field 67 is just over here. And if we uh, we can you turn around? Uh, not quite. That's all right. Reverse off the road a little bit. This, oh, this isn't quite north-south, but I think it may be at the 45 degree angle. So, unfold. Get ourselves in position. Uh, and one of the nice things about using the realistic seed mod is the fact that I, uh, I don't have to worry about which seed I've got selected in my uh, seeder. It's, uh, it works very, very nicely in that, uh, yeah, I no longer have to worry about that. Right, let's turn this on, crop it down, and away we go. I think, yeah, we're going to be about 235, not quite on the angle, you can see there, not quite. But, it should be fairly easy for us to, to get to. Not very wide field, so we're doing the long run of it. And uh, it should work pretty well. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see how far we get. About halfway through the contract now, and uh, and yeah, we've got a good amount of seed still on. Uh, we've only used used less than twenty percent of the seed on here so far, so we're going to have absolutely plenty uh, to uh, to make it out. In fact, I'm only using 20% of the seed so far. That is, um, we might even have had enough of a single pallet, which would be good. Because if we get refunded for a full pallet of seed, that's nearly 2,000 on top of this. And, uh, and yeah, I think, we, I think we should make it the whole way through this field uh, without an issue. And, uh, and be able to make a good profit off it. We're 90% of the way through now, and uh, and yeah, we should be in a position uh, where, yep, yeah, 35%, so we've used about uh, a, roughly a single uh, pallet of seeds doing this. Absolutely brilliant, we're gonna get most of that second pallet of seeds back, so nearly, uh, nearly two grand back from that. Uh, we should also get, uh, yeah, nearly two grand back from that. Uh, we should also get, uh, well, that sort of offset how much uh, we've had to, to use to borrow this. It is only 11 minutes past 11 in the morning as well in game, which means that we have plenty of time to take on another contract. Um, and this is what I love about seeding contracts, uh, is that they are worth a lot of money or can be worth a lot of money and can be done fairly swiftly with the right equipment, which uh, which this is. So uh, yeah, this is uh, this is good. Uh, and I'm leaving the headlands at the moment. Uh, we'll probably have to start on there, didn't I? Yes. How how far are we now? 95 percent. We may get finished running this. If not, we will end up down the bottom end in the perfect position to get the headlands started. And that will finish it off. We won't need to do the whole field. Uh, and in fact, I need to stop as soon as this contract completes. I need to stop uh, because otherwise we're using up seed that we can otherwise get a refund for. So I'm just bringing it up. So yeah, 
Yeah, we would have. We, we definitely needed two pallets. We didn't need three. So that is that is. Solitaire 12 is brilliant. Is this a, is this a 12 foot? It could be a 12 foot. Or 12 meters, sorry. It is a big piece of kit either way. A 12 foot is not that big. 12 foot is only um, 6 meters, I think, roughly. Right, so. Yeah, we are going to have to start on the headland, so if we go down the other end, uh, we'll turn around and get started on this headland. We are 99% of the way there, so it's not much headland we're going to have to do. Just enough to, uh, to complete the field. And we're down to 29% left. So I think we, uh, I think we get 2100 uh, litres of seed in the... Uh, in a pallet and we're down to 1700 roughly at the moment. So that is up. Down. We're going to be up to about 13,000. I think there we go. Whoa. Up. Fold. And we're, do you know what? We are close enough to the shop, I think. For us to be able to uh, to return this here, especially as we're going to be picking up another one. So let's complete this contract. Uh, Nine thousand five hundred and fifty-two. Let's collect that. We got a reimbursement of only five hundred and forty-eight. Okay, so the seed wasn't worth as much as I thought it was. Uh, let's collect that, and. We have some more options for seeding and how much money do we have at the moment uh, we have 13,527 we got a sewing contract here here we go field 69 field 69 uh, 4,000 I think that is going to be a good contract for us to do if we're going on a seeding thing today there are other ones that are worth more but I think this one on field 69 would be a good one for us. So, let's uh, borrow the items for that as well. And we're going to go and seed that with canola. So, we'll hop down to the bottom corner of the field here. Walk against the traffic as you should. And round the back, we're going to have a star ready for us. And I think we need a single pallet of canola for this. So uh, let's purchase that. A single pallet of canola seed. There it is. I do love this uh, this realistic pallets or realistic seeding mod. Buy that. Yes. Okay. Back. There we go. Perfect. Not an overly um, British uh, track to this. Uh, but we'll do for what we're what we're trying to do here. We're not we don't have to do the uh, fertilising for this contract. It is only seeding. Keep catching. Let's turn this off. So in the advanced settings, uh, settings here. Right click has to activate. There we go. I've come to use the right click less and less. I catch it more on stuff, and, uh, and yeah, just just not really worth it. Do we have? So that is open. That's good. So that's close enough to refill. So refill this with canola, and this actually will not take this entire pallet of canola. Yeah, there we go. So we may have to come back down to the shop to refill. I don't think we can put canola in both. Did open that? I oh, know. I think that was me. I don't think it will put canola in both of these. For a jewel one, we will just double check that quickly. No, we can't. Right, so we'll close that up, and away we go. And we'll take this up. But so this has no. Yeah, there's no way of folding this up. So whatever way I look at it, it's a bad, bad piece of kit to transport along the road. Yeah, definitely a, uh, a piece of kit that I want to have. 
locally if I can. See if I can avoid the cars with that. Uh, let's get this up to field 69, which we are actually going to do this time, and uh, and get this contract started. Coming up to field, well, the entrance to field 70, and I'm a little bit concerned because this is a fairly wide piece of kit, and that is a fairly slim gate. This is going to be tight, but it is through. Okay, that's good news. Right, now we can do what we were planning to do initially, and, uh, and get this field sewn. So field 69, start it up, drop it down. I had a little bit of trouble on the road when I realised that uh, I was actually running the tractor, uh, or I forgot to connect up the hoses and the brakes had got stuck on, on my cedar. So uh, yeah, that wasn't good. However, uh, we are moving at what, nine, 10 miles an hour uphill with this cedar. So this is a pretty rapid cedar uh, for this job. I'm just hoping that it's uh, it's one I'm not going to have to go and fill a lot because that would not be good. It might be worth getting a tractor and a trailer uh, and things with our money just to uh, just to support these jobs. Would be quite useful, I think. But can we with this seed out get this all done fairly quickly? Would be good. It's a bit of a harder one to turn around. There's a, there's a mod coming out, which I'm looking forward to, uh, which is a, a contract mod, uh, a, a mod that alters the contracts so that you can refresh or choose the equipment that you use on a contract. Uh, and it will include GPS on the tractor. So not only does it include stuff from the DLCs, if you've got it, it also includes GPS uh, if you want to put it on, which is just so much nicer for doing contract work. Uh, hopefully on here though, we're going to make it all the way through this contract without much issue. I can get this. If I do no headings on the second, I might make it a little bit more difficult to turn around. I didn't make it much more difficult to turn around. Um, but that would mean that we'd get this contract done quicker as well. Let's bring this around here. Get this, uh, get this right. Did have a worry for a moment, I've got more to see. We're okay. So I'm going to continue on with this uh, and we shall pick this up in a bit and see how we're doing seed wise, I think. At this point we're about halfway through the field, or halfway through the contract, and uh, yeah, we only have 42% seed left, so looks like we're going to have to refill before we, uh, before we can complete this, uh, complete this contract. Uh, as a result, got my line there. Uh, as a result, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not great, uh, trying to get this back down the road is going to be a real pain. But, uh, it is progressing nicely otherwise, and we do have plenty of seed left back uh, at the shop. So, uh, what I'll do is, when I drop to about 35%, I'll drive down there and I'll, uh, I'll get it picked up and I'll get it refilled. So that we don't really have a break in what we're doing on the field so much. I'm going to watch those little bits, because I keep leaving the location a little bit. Uh, and that is going to cause problems for us uh, if we, uh, in the long run, if we're not careful. It means we have to go for a bit longer to get this field done. But, as I said, in general, this is going pretty well. Uh, we are going to have to refill. It does, the seed does throw me off a little bit. Because I don't think it seeds. Well, let's have a look. No, it doesn't seed under the wheels at the edges. So I can't line up on the edge there like that. It doesn't have any... Uh, any mark done. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's difficult for me to 
to fully judge where the edge of this and that's that's making it a little bit harder to do this i would say this is not a great cedar for an english map like this it really really does not lend itself to that so um yeah i would like to switch that to something else soon i will be able to and that will be awesome for now though, we're just going to trundle on with this. I'll get this refilled in a minute. And, uh, and then we should have enough to get this field finished off. 90% of the way there, we did refill with seed because uh, we did need it. But we are 90% yeah, of the way there. That is all good. Uh, what we're not going to be able to do actually is fill up with all of the seed. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start doing the headlands because we're right at the bottom of the field. We have 93% progress. So I think we're gonna end up going all the way up to the top of the field, uh, getting uh, the first part of the headlands done, and then probably we'll finish on the way back. I'm not gonna drive this tractor all the way back to the shop. Uh, because trying to get this cedar back uh, along the main road is a real, real pain. I'm not a fan of this cedar. Look at that, mate. That, is a, that is a tough pull up that hill. I kind of need to for the uh, doing the headland, but all good otherwise. Should make it. Get a good amount here. That will bring us. Uh, that will bring us fairly well. Now, ideally, I'd want to get this back to the shop in order to, to refill with some of the canola seed that we've got left over. But I think it's a trade-off with the amount of pain it will cause us, or the amount of hassle it is to get this back, versus uh, what we'll get out of it. It won't be much. It won't be much at all. So, let's get this done. Ideally, I should have let it run out of seed and then we could have got the maximum uh, refund we could have. But it's not, it's not too awful. It's only going to be... Uh, we're still going to have the canola seed. And uh, if we get another canola contract, uh, we'll be able to, uh, to use it for that. But, uh, for this, 96%. Uh, for this, we will uh, we'll just take this up to the top. Then we'll do it. Hopefully, that will be enough to complete this contract. I don't see why it wouldn't be, but we have missed a few patches around this field. Not my most realistic piece of seed. 98, yeah, we are going to complete this contract before we get to the top corner of this field. That will do us very, very nicely. Right, move out a little bit. Get that. The sun is beginning to set as well. It's uh, about 6 p.m. in the evening again. So that's been, that's been a good amount of work today. There we go. Contract complete. Lift it up. Turn it off. And, uh, and we'll complete that contract. There we go, 4,076. So 3,477 off that. Collect that. And uh, and that's pretty good. We're up to 14,000. So we're still 3,000 shy of getting our land and getting that set up. We now have enough money to buy a tractor if we wanted to. But I want, kind of want to get myself in a position where we've got land and a... Uh, uh, and can set ourselves up. So that's what we're still aiming for. We could get, uh, we could get, well, we've got another 3,000 ish in order to, to rent the land. Uh, if we rent that, then we can, uh, we may get a great Fergie or an old tractor of some description and do that. Because we can't lease old equipment, we can only lease uh, new stuff on this. But once again, we'll finish where we started. Uh, lots to look forward to. We've got small tractor wise. We have a few options. This is the grey. So 2,500 for the grey Fergie with 
with the uh, with the front loader is 2,900. That would give us enough to just sort of potter about the horses. Uh, there's other options as well. We've also got these uh, these old Ford. This Ford 5000. Uh, this I'd quite like. It is 10,995. With the front loader, it goes up to 12.45. And that's that's kind of what we need. If I was to get it with the guard on the front. And the cab, that's 12,515. But that would be a cracking little tractor for us to do stuff with. So, yeah, plenty of options that we've got. A few others kicking around as well. Um... Uh, but uh, yeah, that is uh, that is certainly uh, we're getting there. We're getting close to getting the farm. We want it by uh, uh, by late spring. So by day six of spring, I want to have got the farm and for us to be cutting grass. But what we're going to do is we're going to finish this here for now. Uh, so all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.